Hi everyone, I am Grisbel and today I am going to talk about the web dev module. So the agenda for today is, first I am going to explain what is the web dev module. After that, I will explain the resources we have available in it. And then I am going to give you some examples of how to use these resources. At the end, I am going to do a short recap. The web dev module is a way for external systems to interact with Ignition using web services calls. All right, so the web dev module resources are, first we have the Python resources, which are dynamic resources. These are scripts you can create in the web dev module, and then you can browse this uh, you can call these scripts when you browse the URL that it is associated with. Calling the script will uh, give you a response too. Then we have the file resources, which are static resources. So these are very much like images or files like a JSON file. After that, we have the text resource, which is also a static resource. But the difference with the file resource is that you can uh, edit this resource in the designer. This is um, used uh, to build websites, for example. With the file resource, you cannot update the file uh, directly in, in the designer. If you want to update the file, you have to upload the file, a new file again. And then we have the mounted folders, which are a way to expose a folder from the gateway's hard drive as a resource endpoint. Now let's uh, talk about the Python resources. The Python resources, as I said, are completely dynamic and they can handle all parts of the HTTP protocol. So this is the data flow in a Python resource. First, the HTTP request arrives at a URL where Python resource is mounted. After that, this corresponding Python script will be run. So these are the available methods we have for these Python resources. I am going to talk about the two most commonly used methods, which are uh, get and post. So here's my first example. In this example, I want to get a value from a tag. So the first thing you have to do is to create a resource or a Python resource in the web dev module. Here you can see the script I have in the do get method. The idea here is to get the value from a tag. All right, so how to get the information from an external web service? In this case, I will use postman. And in my get uh, method, I want to specify my tag path where I want to get the value from. And when everything works, I will see a response in this uh, way. All right, so I am going to switch to the designer to test this. All right, so here I have my designer opened and I also have my external system, which wants to communicate with Ignition. So as I said, the first thing you have to do is to create your Python resource. And in this case, I am going to use the get method. Here is the script I am using. And uh, the script needs, or the script uh, is going to read uh, the tag path from the request, and then it will try to get the value from these tags in Ignition. So as you can see, uh, here I have my tag. Uh, the value is, well, high there. And then in my external system, I am passing uh, this in the body because this is the tag path I want to get the value from. So if I send this request, we should see the response here. This is the previous response I had. I have changed the tag value and then this response should be different when I send the request. So let's send the request. And you can see we get the value of the tag in Ignition. 
All right, so now that I can get the value from the tag, I want to also post a value from, from my external system to my tag. So in my Python resource, I can also have uh, other methods. In this case, I am going to use to post method, which will take the data from the request, which will be a value for my tag and will write this value to my tag. So in my external system, I have now the post method with the uh, endpoint I want to reach in, in ignition. And then I have this uh, in the body where I specify the tag path and then I specify also the value for the tag. So if I send this uh, value to ignition, it will change the value in this tag. Good, so as you can see, we have a response here and then the value has been changed in ignition. So this is, a, this is a way for us to use external systems to get and also to post data from and to ignition. So now I have another example of how to use this Python resource. In this case, I want to post uh, data to a perspective table. So the first thing I do is to create a new Python resource. I am going to use a do post method where I want to use the data from the request and then send this data to the table using a message handler. So how to do that? Okay, so in my external system, I have my both post method and then this is the endpoint I want to, to call and I have to send a JSON. Uh, the data property of the table can uh, easily take JSONs so I am going to send a JSON similar to this. A JSON is a list uh, and it has dictionaries in it. Uh, for, this, for this JSON each dictionary will be a row in the table. Then I have configured my table uh, to receive a message where it will take the payload, which is the data in this uh, JSON, and then we'll send that to the data property of the table. Good, so for this example, I am using a table in Ignition. You can see here my, my perspective link. So uh, this table is very popular in the designer. I am using the data from this JSON to populate the table. So right now you can see um, we have all these rows, but let's say I want to have less rows and probably have only we until here. So I have less rows now. And if I send this to the table, then we can see that the table will have less rows. So good. Now we have that and the response is success. So let's say I also want to um, change something in the, in the rows. Uh, I will take Madrid and I will change that for Malaga because everybody likes Malaga. So let's send that to the table. And now you can see here that in Spain, I also change to Malaga. So this is uh, another way for us to send uh, data to ignition using an external system. In this case, I am um, passing data directly to a component in ignition. So this is just a, another use case that it can be useful for, for you. All right, so here's uh, the third example of how to use a file uh, resource. In this case, I want to create file resources uh, in ignition to save some images um, and then uh, to call this uh, resource, you only need to, to get the URL into the browser. Okay, so if I go to the designer, you can see that I have my file resources here, which are images. And then if I browse for this link in the browser, I can get the image from my file resource. All right, so I have another 
this, that we can also call it is this image. Good. Uh, let's recap now. So uh, the web dev module is a way for external systems to interact with technician, and uh, it is very useful for us because um, this is a way to make data from Ignition available to external systems and also to send data from external systems to Ignition. Okay, so this is everything I have today for the WebDev module. Thank you for watching. See you soon.